Hi there, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to More Life is Futile. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been wondering what server I play on. As you can see right now, I'm actually playing on a multiplayer server, okay? And I am going to recommend one, one to you called Camelot, alrighty? But there's a few things that you need to do before you can get onto the server, alrighty? Before we can get into the game, we need to go to the website. And not the Life is Futile website, but the one for Camelot. Camelot itself has its own website because this server is very complex. It has both a market system and a land system, along with very active game moderators that maintain the balance and make sure that nobody has a bad game experience. That said, it's not they're not going to walk you through it, but it's going to be a fair game experience, okay? So what you need to do is you need to go on here and you're either going to claim your land or you're going to go down here and give add your Steam ID to the community, okay? If you go here and you add your Steam ID, this will give you five silver pieces all right and these five silver pieces will allow you to get started out okay so if you want to claim the reason why you would want to claim is if you look at here we have a map the Camelot server is divided up into different sections okay these are different land claims and they're being claimed up fairly fast so if you want to set up your own kingdom you're gonna to need to get on it pretty quickly because the land is going quick but if you're by yourself this is a perfect server for you because you can join a different society. There are plenty of groups that are looking for new members and you can join whichever one you want. All right. And now if we go back to here, you can see that the game statistics are different than most of the servers out there. As you can see, this the skill stats multiplier is 1.1 and the skill cap is 700. Basically what that means is that you are not going to be able to become a master of every single trait you're limited to 700 experience levels across all of your traits. And the 1.1 stat multiplier means that you're gonna level up at the same speed that you would in the actual MMO. All right, the reason for this is this allows the game to have an actual economy. So now that you can't make everything in the entire world, you're gonna have to trade and you're gonna have to actually learn a skill so that you can contribute yourself. All right, so you're going to use those silver pieces to buy tools so you can get started, and then you can make other objects so you can start farming, and you start a farm, you start farming flax, and then you sell the flax on the market to buy things to build houses. All right, so now that I've explained all this, I'm going to go ahead and get on the server, and I'm going to show it to you. Alrighty, so as you can see, we are on the multiplayer selection list, and what you're going to do is you're going to wait for all of the different lists to pop up, and then you're going to sort them by name, so the question marks are at the top. This sorts them alphabetically by a descending order, meaning that A will be first. Alright, so we're going to go A, B, and then C. Alrighty, as you can see here, we have Camelot. Alright, now notice it is locked and it is password protected. That's why you need to submit your information. That way you can get the password. That's one of the nice things about this server is that everyone who goes onto this server is kept recorded. That way, if somebody is being, I don't know, is being a troublemaker, they can be kicked off the server. Alright, so this is a very grief-free server and a very high-quality server. If it doesn't pop up right away, go ahead and refresh it. The server is in Texas, so it might be a problem for some guys, but it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so I'm going to connect to it. Okay, guys, as you can see here, we have ourselves the Merchant's Place, okay? And this is where the arena is going to be built, which will be for different competitions, such as battles for land, or different competitions that are just held every now and then to give you special prizes. But this is where the Merchant is, okay? You can go talk to this guy and buy things from him. He has admin privileges, so he can give you anything for the right price, of course, all right? Occasionally, auctions are held also. So if you can see in the chat bar on the bottom right side, you can see that he was selling a cow, which got sold for five silver. All right. And yeah, it's 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 a pretty cool place over here. All right. So let's go check out some of the other places that they have. All righty, guys. So as you can see here, we have the Kingdom of Navarro, which is at the uppermost part of the map. And as you can see, they have a very ambitious building project, something that would be almost impossible with single player. But with this amount of people, however, it can be accomplished even at the uh, at the different multipliers. OK, because everybody has a job. And when you all work together, you can manage to do things a lot quicker. All right. So as you can see here, they have a little house and a field and some stuff. I mean, they already have leather going on this game. So it's it's a pretty it's a pretty ambitious project but definitely something that can be accomplished and this is just one of the many kingdoms we'll go ahead and we'll look at one of the other kingdoms on the map 
All right, so as we, as you guys can see here, we have another group of survivors, okay? This is the Kingdom of Tyr, I believe it is pronounced. And this group right here has a little farm going, some trees, and a lot of coops as they're starting to level up. So this group would be nice if you're looking to join in a more beginner area so that you can help define the entire area that it will eventually build into. As you can see, they have a large open plot. Okay, but the nice thing is that they already have a mine, so you could go and manufacture iron and then sell it on the market here. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another place. Alright guys, so this is the last little place that I'm going to show you. This is Hidden Leaf, which is up on the right top, right most area. And as you can see, it has a, the wall all up, and it has, you know, some leather going over here. It has a guy. I'm assuming that there's more people. Alright, and they're probably looking for more people. This is a great base for you to get started, and it's not too far from the other people, so trade would be easy, and, you know, it also has some PvP, okay? So this would be great because you'd be able to spawn back, but there are rules to the PvP, all right? And the admins are very active and they want everybody to have a good time, okay? So they want everybody to have a fair time, but nobody's gonna get, you know, just cheated and then the admins are just gonna, eh, roll their eyes at it, okay? It's a very structured system, but it's a very fun open system and I greatly recommend it. As you can see, there's a lot of creative minds on here and there's a lot of active players and I recommend it. At any time, there can be between 30 and, you know, 20 people on there, which is a lot. In fact, it almost peaked out at 64 today when I was watching it earlier. Okay, anyways guys, so that's enough for me now. I'm going to go ahead and check out and I'm going to start playing and I'm going to look for a kingdom to join in here, okay? So I highly, highly recommend this. Whether you're looking to join an already established crew or you're looking to start your own people and your own lore. This is the server, okay? I highly recommend it. it. It is a lot of fun, has a lot of active people on here. You're not going to end struggling by yourself, okay? If you're looking for what Life is Feudal has promised to be, which is an open world MMO where you can trade and battle and build things, then this is the server for you, okay? Remember, you have to go on the website though and you have to actually go and get the password for it, okay? So, go ahead, message him, say hi to Carrot for, or say hi to King Carrot for me and let him know that good guy Mike sent you. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Like, favorite, subscribe. All which helps me out. You guys, keep being good guys and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I am good guy Mike. I'm the maker of this video and I hope that you guys get the chance to check out one of these ones over here. If you can't tell, we've been making some changes to the channel lately and I hope that you guys like it. Anyways, I'm going to chill out here a little bit more in cyberspace. So, have a good time.